Welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal with Crystal Intentions. And I thought that I would do a um, review on this particular deck, The Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright. I was pulling some cards this morning for a friend and I used this deck and I was like, oh, <laughs> I haven't really used this deck a lot, so I thought I would do a um, a quick deck review. Um, I pulled this deck because to me it has more of a um, balanced energy between like masculine and feminine, as opposed to just being strongly feminine. A lot of my decks are, and I think most tarot decks um, tend to lean towards uh, feminine energy. So I pulled this deck because to me it has a good balance between masculine and feminine feminine and um it's also a silhouette deck so um which helps with diversity because all the imagery is in silhouette um you know i mean unless you're paying attention to like facial features you really can't tell um what race the people are um and also i bought this deck because i thought it was a cool deck to do readings for halloween because the silhouette has that and it's not a dark deck but it just has that kind of energy with the silhouette of like being a good deck for Halloween but it's a good all-around deck but anyway um I love the box it is a hard card box and it also has this little ribbon where it flips up so you're not struggling to get the box open like I am a little bit <laughs> and it's magnetic so closes and stays closed I love hard card boxes, but I also like that this is on like little ribbon hinges where it opens and closes um, because I have some card boxes that I have to struggle to get open like this particular deck. Uh, the Psychic Heart Tarot is like I, I have a hard time like see I usually have to like hit it or use something to pry it open. But hard boxes are good to store your cards in, too, to keep them safe. But, yeah, this has a nice little flip top. If I ever create a deck, it'll definitely have something like this where it's easy to open. Um, so, here's the Arthur Stephen Bright. Um, and little guy booklet. Like I said, I haven't used this deck a lot. Uh, only a few times, but I was drawn to the images. I don't even know how I found a deck, but, you know, went down a rabbit hole on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> looking at tarot card reviews and it was actually on Amazon so that's also great if you have Amazon Prime free shipping and um, it says $24 but I feel like I didn't even pay that much for it um, being a Prime member but yeah so I believe this deck is mass produced yeah but um, yeah so here's a little book it has um, and I like that it also has like um, these, these are like, they're kind of like mantras. And then it has a meaning and it follows the traditional right away system. It also has car meanings, um, quick keywords at the bottom. So the world, like for instance, it says I am the completion of cycles and the finishing line in a race i will congratulate you at the end of a project but encourage you to begin new challenges so i think that's really cool and look is in color the pictures are in color so yeah um i have shuffled this deck so it is definitely not in order so the cards are going to come out as they may not in a particular order and yeah so let's Flip through some cards so we can see together because like I said I haven't even flipped through this deck today I'm just like oh look at this deck I need to use this deck more so and um as far as the card stock and and I also like the size I have pretty large hands um so it's um these cards are more square they're not I would say they're standard size. I would say they're standard size. I'm trying to find a deck to compare it to. But um, I don't think none of my decks are. They're all different sizes. The ones I have close to me. But um, yeah, I think it's a little bit more wider than a traditional playing card. And slightly bigger. Um, but not as long, if that makes sense. But 
and the card's back is um, is glossy. Um, let me a little thin. Um, I prefer a matte finish, but this doesn't take away from the deck. It has a nice shine to it, like a, a lamination. And um, shuffles fine. It doesn't stick or anything. So yeah, I like overhand shuffles, so my cards can like come out at will. But yeah, so let's look at some of these cards. Make sure I keep the cards in the frame. The video. Yeah. Okay. And if it's shaking a little bit, that's my little janky tripod. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at some cards. And it's the four cuts. I kind of like that depiction. It's um, yeah, it's interesting. The waiter, four cups, three of swords. I like that. I like that. See the how the silhouette? I love the silhouette images. And and also the suits have different colors. So purple with the cups and this is like a yellow. A little band-aid over his heart. I like that. Three of swords. Queen of Cups. Two of Cups. I like that too. Um, we're still at the restaurant. <laughs> so it's like, um, I guess the date didn't go so well. Is that the same man? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Ten of Cups. This looks like that is two men. So yeah, some diversity there six of cups uh, I love how that you can actually tell that they are children um, I know in a traditional right of weight deck it's kind of it looks like a child and an adult to me it does um, it's hard to tell if they're men or women but this you can see that they're children and um, yeah that nostalgia card Justice. And and isn't justice in the right of weight a woman? I always thought it was a man, but I've heard that it's a woman in the justice card and in the traditional right of weight, the right of weight smith. Oh, look at the four swords. Look, he's laying on the couch. Oh, the cherry. Look at the cherry on the skateboard. That's cool. I I mean I kinda like that depiction a little bit. Okay, I can go back and find it. The Magician. Yeah, and I like that the images are simple. Um, it could be used for a, it's a great choice for a first deck or a beginner deck. The messages or the imagery is easy to interpret. Five of Wands. Look at that. That looks like some MMA. King of Wands. He's sitting in a director's chair. Five of Pentacles. That's interesting. I was like, where are the Pentacles? <laughs> They're up here on this little building. So, a lot of modern depictions. Nine of Swords. That's a cool one. The Empress. That's also an interesting depiction, too. The Wheel of Fortune. This is one of the cards I pulled earlier for my friend. I was like, oh, that's such a cool card. I was like, why am I not using this deck more often? But, yeah. I think that's so cool. That's such a cool depiction of the Wheel of Fortune. The world. Okay, we're going to have to make a look at that because it's slipping. The world. Two of Wands. <laughs> He's holding the glove like a basketball. I love it. 
you would I've, I've had this deck since like literally last October ish like I got it right before Halloween I'm just now going through it um strength look at that who is knocking on my door okay so I was briefly interrupted because another tarot card uh deck came in the mail so probably do another round of this that'll be an unboxing because ooh, I'm excited about this one um so yeah strength ace of wands ten of swords look at that mm. look at the knight of pentacles look at his hair little details queen of pentacles in her business suit ten of wands I like that card I definitely like that card ten of wands six of pentacles knight of wands five of cups Get his cups are knocked over. Can't see the two cups over there in the background. Look at death. So one of my good friends, um, she says she picks her tarot decks <laughs> by the is it the death card or the devil card? Um, to decide if she can handle the energy of the deck. But uh, that's interesting because that death looks like a woman. It's like a I guess it would be like the angel of death. Look at the wings. And then like, it's like the moon. It's interesting depiction. Oh look, and, and this is a cemetery. So the cross and the little tombstones. <laughs> look at Temperance, the DJ. I think this is one of the reasons I picked this card. Look, in different colors. Look, but they're like opposite. Oh, that is so cool. I like that depiction. Um, Ten of Pentacles. I like that too. Yeah. That's what looks like the grandfather. And then the family. His family, like, passing down the legacy. Financial wealth. Um, the Emperor. It's an interesting way to depict the Emperor. Three of Pentacles. I like that. I like that. Three of Wands. Waiting for his ships to come in. Ah, oh, look at the Sun card. That's pretty. The Devil. Now, that's an interesting way to depict the Devil. I don't know how I feel about that card. I'm going to have to read his meaning on that. But um, that's an interesting way to depict the devil. Two of swords. And that's a man. Hmm. Ooh. Eight of cups. I like the eight of cups. It's walking away. Yeah, this is one of the cards I like. I love the high priestess in this deck. I love the high priestess. She is owning that throne. You hear me? With her heels on? Yes, with a high priestess. Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands. Knight of Cups. Is that the same man? <laughs> In the Cups. The same man. Ooh. He having a hard time. Let's see. Six of Wands. The Lovers. Queen of Wands. She still has her little black cat. Ace of Swords. Two of Pentacles. I like that he's juggling on the on the or he's balancing on the is it a unicycle? Queen of Swords. Handling her business. Page of Cups. He still has his little cup with the fish. He looks like a little boy too. I like that. And the blue. Ace of Pentacles. 
king of pentacles now the king of pentacles every time i see this card i think that he is tired but today when i was looking at it because i also pulled this card from my friend i was like maybe he's not tired maybe he's just relaxed because he has accumulated his wealth and he can sit back and relax so yeah Page of Pentacles also looks like a little boy. I like how it looks like a soccer ball. Three of Cups. Get it, ladies. Look at the Three of Cups. They are out there having them a good old time. Celebration. Eight of Swords. Ooh. I like how she's just standing in between the swords with this. There's a clear pathway out of that, and then the sun is on the horizon. The fool, look at the fool, looks like a youthful child and his dog getting ready to go on an adventure. The stars, like the little bird and the star. It's a pretty card. Knight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Wands. I like that. It looks like a simple wedding at the beach. Mm -hmm. Destination wedding, maybe. Page of Wands. The Moon. The Hangman. I love the Hangman. I think this is one of my favorite cards, too. It's just a pretty card. It's just a pretty card. I love it. He's still in his Hangman position, hanging from the tree. I love the silhouette. It's just a pretty card. Five of Swords. Hmm. I like that. I like how he's in the background with his head down. The Hierophant. I love the Hierophant. Like, it literally shows the depiction of, like, a teacher and students. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the Hierophant. Judgment. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I like the Nine of Cups too. Yeah, that's a good depiction of the Nine of Cups. I like it. Mhm. Mm I like that. Yeah. He's sitting there very confidently with all of his nine cups on the shelves. Well, eight cups on the shelf. The Tower. I always love the tower cards and all decks just to see how they depicted, you know, the fall <laughs> of the tower. Um, yeah, that's a pretty card. I like all the different colors combined in the tower. Seven of Wands. Good depiction. Seven of Cups. Six of Swords. I like that one too. The Hermit. Look at the Hermit sitting up on the mountain. Oh, it's the card that is on the box. Mmm. Didn't know that. It's the Hermit sitting up there on the mountain alone by the light of the moon. That's interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Ace of Cups. Seven of Swords. Hmm. Oh, look at this Eight of Pentacles. The cards are kind of thick, too. Just a little bit. Just a little thick. You can see the thickness of that. Just a little bit. Um, King of Cups. Because this is making... Remember, because I have a whole stack over here. This is making a big pile. Um, King of Swords. But, I mean, it comes with a good box. So, you can always keep it in the box. King of Swords. Page of Swords. And the last but not least, Four of Pentacles. So, that is my, so it was more like a, a flip through of the deck. So, you can see all the images. I like reviews that shows all the cards. Um, so, I guess I can come back and give another review when I actually work with it. Because I haven't really worked with it a whole lot. But I did want to show off some of the Im imagery and flip through it myself. So, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're thinking about purchasing this deck and adding it to your collection. He also has a very active Instagram. I believe he follows back because I like search searched it. Like I 
I search everything on Instagram. If I want to see a picture or something, I put in a hashtag. And um, and I believe he followed me back when I followed him. So, um, yeah. So, check out his Instagram. And, um, yeah, if you're thinking about purchasing this deck, I think it's a great deck to have in your collection. Um, especially if you're a fan of decks that model the right weight system. I am, because that's how I learned tarot. Um, so, yeah. Uh... Like I said, a good deck for the fall and Halloween readings is not dark, but that silhouette just puts me in the mindset of like a nightmare before Christmas type energy. Um, but it's very bright as well, even with the silhouette. So I think it's a good deck to add to your collection if you're looking for just something a little different. And if you're looking for something that that appears to be a little bit more diverse. Um, because even though all the imagery is in a silhouette, you can still tell the diversity of the deck. Um, yeah, just by looking at features and facial shapes and things like that. But yeah, so that is my review of The Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright. Um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, would love for you to leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. And have a good evening.